All right, so quick video. <clears throat> Gonna demonstrate how you put the Electro & Co kit inside of a razor. In this case, we got the SX500. More than likely gonna be the same for the MX650. But in the kit, we got the motor. We got the controller. Got some wires, got the, uh, that looks like the voltage display there in that bag. And the throttle along with some more grips. Got some stickers and got the Seron battery that we're going to be putting into it. So first thing, we're going to remove the plastics. You got two screws on both sides right there and one on the top. All right, then you want to just take the front pieces here, pull them out just like that. All right, next we're going to go on the back of the bike underneath and remove these two screws here and in there. And then this will just slide right off the back. Next step, you gotta get these plastics off. You got two screws on the top, two on the side, one on the bottom. All right, so we got all the screws out. We're just gonna remove these covers here. And that's gonna show us what the battery looks like. All the controller wires and everything in there. This side has the on and off switch. Also has a, its own screw over here and the charging port. So I would expect all that's gonna be connected. We might have to remove that. All right, so now that we got that taken off, I'm gonna go ahead and take the controller uh, off and then remove the batteries and just keep the uh, pieces connected to the plastics over there. Actually, might be able to just unscrew the very bottom one or the bottom two screws, I'm hoping, and then I can just keep it all together in case I want to put it back together. So, it looks like we are able to just remove the bottom two screws and hopefully take all this out as one piece once we remove some of the wires, and that should save us some steps from having to take the controller, then the top battery, then the bottom two. Since we're just removing all that and we're replacing all this. All right, look, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this plastic piece, get it out of the way. Using a pair of needle nose pliers to pull the connectors off. I'm just gonna disconnect it right here. So we'll disconnect the charging port after we unplugged the on and off connectors there so we got the brake cable here we're gonna be leaving that alone next we have the looks like the throttle right here which we can go ahead and unplug there we go so all of this should be separate now and hopefully we can just remove the batteries, controller and all the extra wires. Oh, we got the, uh, can't forget this, the motor connectors. All right, so I unplugged a total of three wires. Uh, the motor, two coming from the throttle, and of course the ones that were onto the plastic, the charging port and the on and off switch. Let's see if we can just lift this whole thing out of here. I guess we can. I left something plugged. What did I leave plugged up? Oh, is there three? Oh, okay, so this... Oh, yeah, the... Uh... <clears throat> the safety for the brakes the kill switch, I guess, whenever the throttle, or whenever the, the brake is pushed, the uh, motor will cut out, whatever you call that. I'm drawing the blank here. Forgot about that one. Make sure you unplug that as well. We don't want that, actually. We're not even gonna plug that up. So, next I'm gonna go ahead and throw the surround battery in there, and we'll just see how it fits. 
make sure it fits. I've been told that it fits. If it doesn't, then uh, I guess I'm gonna have to order a separate battery for this thing. That's weird. I am not seeing that it's gonna fit. So it fits. All right, so let's go ahead and take the motor out. You just got the two screws there, and it looks like one on this side. All right, so when you unscrew these, there's going to be nothing supporting the motor, and it could fall right through. So make sure you have it supported. And there you go. Now the chain is on over there, so we're going to. Try to finesse it a little bit, get it off. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the chain guard so I can see a little bit better in there. It's like just two Phillips screws holding it in. Yeah, so now I can see the chain much better. Get it off the motor here. There we go. Bring the motor to the bottom. Our next step, we're gonna need to get the sprocket onto the new motor. And I actually have a 13 tooth that I ordered. So I'm going to put that on. Uh, you're going to need two wrenches, size 12 to take the nut off here. And I'm using a 10 to hold it. All right, so you got the nut. You got a lock washer, sprocket. Yeah, you got two sides here on the sprocket. One is totally flat and the other's got the lip on it. We're gonna put the lip on the outside, followed by the locking washer, and we'll put that nut back on there. Tighten it up. I keep trying to screw this in righty tighty and it's not working. And we're gonna be using the same screws that we uh, took off of the original motor to mount this with the Electro & Co. label up top. Hopefully this is just gonna slide right on in there. And fit. Which looks like it might. So you gotta get that chain over the sprocket. All right, next we're gonna remove the throttle. And I'm just gonna twist this off, it looks like. And to get the throttle off, looks like you need a Allen key here. Looks like a three is where I pulled that out of. Yep, just loosen that on the front. Pull it right off. And set it aside. We're gonna keep the brakes for now. Next we will install voltage meter. Let's see where I wanna put this actually, I might put this somewhere else. We're gonna put this on the left side. I should probably look into this before I do it. Just see if there's a reason it needs to go on the right. All my bikes have it on the, oh no, not my Surround. Surround's got it on the left. All right, so let's get this grip off. If you've got an air can, a little duster can, I've always used these to get them off my other bikes. Let's see how easy it works for this. Room to get this in there. Man, this grip is, it is on there. Twisting. So now it's gonna twist right off. Whew. All right, got that off of there. All right, let's take this brake off. Put the voltage meter and key on. Get 
Get that all the way. About right there, I guess. Should be good. I'm just going to tighten it a little bit. Next, we'll put that brake lever back on. Hopefully, we'll put the grip on. Now, let's put the throttle on. Throttle's going to go just right there. Tighten it up. All right, we got the throttle on, got the voltage meter on. It feels pretty good. Next, we're going to put the controller, get that out. And we got to figure out where we want to mount this. This looks like the only place for it. I'm probably just going to use some zip ties to put it on for now. All right, so with the controller, everything's color coded for you. You've got yellow, red, green, black, and blue. These are going to be the wires coming off the controller. You've got your yellow, blue, and green. Yellow, blue, green, and then your positive and negative battery wires are going to go there. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the battery wires. All right, so I got the everything color coded here. You got the negative, positive, blue, green, yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this to get mounted under the battery right there. And that will give me enough room for the this to plug into the battery. Then we'll get everything else plugged up and we're not, we're not too much further along. We'll be able to test this out and see if it works. All right, next we're going to, I'm gonna get these wires out of the way. These are the brake. The throttle cutoffs here for both brakes. You've got your voltage display we need to feed down to the controller. It's got these two wires we're going to plug in. I'm just going to put them through the frame or through the uh, forks here. And bring it all the way down to the controller. Go ahead and plug that in. There's only, you know, each plug you can't, you can't, really can't mess this up. Because there's not two plugs that are the same that are you know designed to go different places. All right, next we're going to take the we're going to do the same thing with the throttle. We're going to feed that down as best as we can through the front and make sure the turning is not going to affect anything. These wires are shorter than I would really like them to be. I mean, this one's really short. Look at this. Dang, that barely fits. Barely snaps in. But it's not hurting anything when I turn, so... I guess we're gonna be okay. Then you've got this one round one. So that just leaves the battery, surround battery. You know, if you were doing this kit and you were and you bought a battery from Electro and Co, it obviously wouldn't be as big. And you could be, you could mount it down here, really nice. I would put the controller up here or on the front, probably ideally the front there, on the inside of the frame, so it can catch some of the wind. Um, I'm gonna need to get all these wires out of the way, but that is the last step in this install as far as the wiring goes. 
I'm gonna double check, make sure nothing is pulling. Turning isn't gonna cut anything, any wires. Looks like we have one excess wire there. That uh, I'll have to look into what that plugs into. But we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up, see what happens. Go ahead and plug this into the Suron battery. Hope for the best. Going to plug the key in there, turn it. Oh, it's upside down. Go figure, I did that wrong. That's fine. Got a little beeping. Uh, gonna turn this to the one position. No throttle. No throttle. We're just getting a beep, 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 beep. No idea why. So let's turn it off. Back on. Try it again. Off. Turn it back on. This time, this is in the two position. Nothing happened with the motor. I'll give it some throttle. Oh, it's... Working now. Ooh, it's going fast. Right, let's go ahead and get the plastics back on. I'm going to try and secure this battery with a big strap. See what I can do with that. Oh, that'll fit there. All right, so they are going to fit. Believe it or not, this is going to be a go. All right, we are officially put back together, ready to go for a test ride. This is going to be fun. Hopefully I don't break anything, get stranded, because it's like 3 a.m. Wife sleeping. No, it's 2 a.m. Switches do yet. We'll figure it out. Let's go this away. <laughs> 